Westbrook, I, I'm happy Westbrook's out of this Lakers situation. And, I, and I, like I've been said and saying, Westbrook it, it didn't deserve to be coming off the bench. Um, he deserved to be in there starting. He deserved to be in the starting lineup. And I think he worked well with LeBron James and Anthony Davis. What didn't work well was trying to make Anthony Davis work within within LeBron James and uh, uh, Russell Westbrook. Uh, LeBron James has more has more championship more uh, more championships. He has three championships with the with the solid point guard versus a big man with AD. They won the bubble, and LeBron James right now is not focused on you know winning a championship. You know, he he has reached LeBron James has reached the pinnacle in his career and right now he's just staying as long as he can enough to so he can so he can he can play with the Suns. The motivation for LeBron James to win games is gone. Champions championships right now is not something that he desires. Um he's had an amazing career but it's not something he desires. You even see after after he had one good game he sat there and said, "Hey, it's time to get greedy." And then he sat out the next game cuz of rest. Right? LeBron James I don't think one th- that one thing that separates LeBron James from Michael Jordan uh, and Kobe Bryant is LeBron James is not a good leader, and one thing LeBron one thing that Michael that Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant did was they played defense. That's not something. That's not something that that LeBron James consistently does when it come when you talk about on ball all on ball half court defense. He that's not something he does. Transition defense, you know, every when he when he runs back and he's not complaining about a foul, you know, he he may get a block here and there, uh, but when it comes to actual on ball defense, LeBron James is a liability, uh, just to a certain extent, right? Um, to a certain extent, guys that move his feet, um, you know, he's not guarding a power forward in the post. That's not something that was a staple of his career. So Westbrook Westbrook is a guy that that is is gritty. He 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 thrives around that, and what we saw what we saw with LeBron James with the the transition of the Lakers, we kind of, we kind of saw the same thing with Kyrie. We kind of saw the same thing with, uh, um, yeah, not necessarily in Miami, but when he went back to Cleveland as well too. LeBron James has a a he he creates clicks, and he doesn't speak to his players. He speaks to the media. And you see it kind of with a kind of with AD. If he's okay, he's squared away, and he's never going to put himself in the position where he isn't. He he he's vulnerable enough to to have conversation with these guys, talk with these guys, you know, put himself in a situation where they can he can be transparent. Russell Westbrook doesn't have a ring. His goal was getting a ring, and that's why he sacrificed so much playing playing sound basketball throughout. You know. Be honest with you, he's been the best player, uh, not only off the bench, but one of the best players in in, in basketball, point guards in basketball this year. Only thing different, different, only thing different is he wasn't getting the minutes. He was playing under pressure in L.A. when everybody has criticized his career. There are people who go out and just don't like Westbrook, and they don't and they don't they don't know basketball. They they listen to the media, they listen to these these guys that you know uh, uh, that analyze that analyze basketball but never played. Don't listen to actually what the players are saying. But Westbrook is 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 can be very highly efficient. He is very uh, very effective. He just hasn't found the right fit for him. And I think he did have a good fit with with OKC. You know, they ran to a brick wall with Miami. You know, when when Miami won a champion when they, when Miami won championships uh, championship. But Westbrook, Westbrook, I think was the best for him. I think he showed continue he continued to show his his everlasting maturity. Um, you know, him and Darvin Ham got into it. Darvin Ham is a horrible coach. I do not presume the Lakers do well with this. Uh, they lost an integral piece. Um, so I do expect that Utah to buy out his contract. They're going to buy out his contract, and I think that, you know, um, with that, you know, Russell Westbrook will have a choice to go where he wants to go, um, you know, expecting less money on wherever he goes next. And I, I do expect him to go to a solid team. I do expect him to go to a team that, um, you know uh, that treats him and and where he wants to got, kind of have that free roam instead of being tra- instead of being traded. Um, so I I, I I definitely want to say that Le- Russell Westbrook as a person, I think, is was a true leader in that locker room. AD Thomas Bryant credited Westbrook to helping him. Schroeder as well too. AD loved the fact that he was on the floor. These are guys that 
this is LeBron James's team that are applauding Westbrook, and they have nothing but the utmost respect for Westbrook. But LeBron James is worried about his own individual career. Society and the media can't get past that. You know, we like I said we put players on pedestals. You know, and don't be wrong, LeBron James is one of the guys that should be up there. But Westbrook was truly the the heart and soul of this team, and Darvin Ham cho- had to choose between really starting Westbrook and making and making sure th- and correcting LeBron. But LeBron loves having LeBron has been fortunate enough in his career to have weak coaches, um, and if LeBron James had a solid coach that really held him accountable, he would have won more championships, and he would have hung more banners, you know. But LeBron James hasn't hasn't. And, and never has had a coach that was really willing to, hey, you know, say, hey, look, this is the way it is. And Spo, Spo was kind of that guy a little bit, um, but he got bulldozed by those three guys, Bosh, Wade, and, and LeBron. So, um, yeah, I, I think that Westbrook, Westbrook was a guy who's all in. You never heard a riff about him and the coach. You never heard a riff about him and the, him and the player, a teammate. Um you know, the only riff we talk about is Westbrook being upset that Kevin Durant going to going to uh, going to uh, Golden State. That was a weak move, and then also he was upset. He was uh, um, going to say it was a weak move, and in the finals when they were in the finals, Kevin Durant froze. No, he didn't froze, but freeze. But Russell Westbrook wanted to. Russell Westbrook took took control of the ball, and, and was one that was shooting because Kevin Durant wasn't shooting. He wasn't making shots. The bone was too big for him at the time. So I hope Russell Westbrook does well, and I think there may be some potential landing spots for him.